Good evening, Dungeon Masters, I'm Baron Durop. What tools do we actually need behind a DM screen? After playing D&D and other tabletop role-playing games for over a quarter century, I find myself returning to the same tools over and over. DM screens are great for putting up sticky note reminders for tools you always forget, sure, like spell concentration checks, but most usefully, you'll need prompts that help you generate gaming ideas to keep your session moving quickly in a pinch. In a perfect world, you'll have all the tools you need to generate as much as an entire adventure with just a few dice roll prompts. There'll be links to everything I mention in this video in the description below. Every dungeon master needs off-the-cuff NPCs, and obviously needs those NPCs far more than the plot's main antagonists. That being said, it's also not worth the mental effort to dream up your new NPC on your own every time the party walks into a different tavern. So what we need is an NPC generator to make interesting people quickly and painlessly. One of the best NPC generators I've seen is in the RPG rule set Knave by Ben Milton of Questing Beast. Page two of Knave's extremely terse and hackable rules has just shy of a dozen D20 tables with interesting character quirks, physical appearances, personal biases and interesting beliefs to randomly roll on. These 11 tables will inform you of what an NPC looks like, how they talk, their deepest character flaw, a prior profession, and more, all just by rolling a handful of d20s. The only thing I'd ask Ben to add is a handful of random NPC name generator tables as well, but you can copy one out of the back of the Mouse Raider rule set in a pinch. At any rate, even rolling on just half the tables, you'll get interesting characters like bloated sunburned herbalist who's loyal but blackmail or a bitter and scrawny pickpocket with wispy hair and foreign clothing. With these tables, your NPCs will always seem fresh and interesting. If your players are talking to an NPC, it's likely because they're about to make a trip to a dungeon and need to resupply or get information about the denizens they're in. One of the most difficult things to deal with while in the dungeon mastering hot seat is when your party suddenly takes a pivot in an unplanned direction and you need to come up with a dungeon layout on the fly. One of the best random dungeon layout generators I've seen by far is found in the RPG Five Torches Deep by Sigilstone Publishing. On page 45, the book walks you through how to use each color of a Rubik's Cube to represent elevation changes, clear and safe areas, blocked or trapped hallways, and rooms with monsters and treasure. With that said, however, my speed cubing nephew, Moritz, another Baron of the Rop visiting from Germany, pointed out that you'll get even more random maps if you use the alternative dice rolling method it describes instead of rolling a shuffled Rubik's Cube like a die. At any rate, with just a toss of a Rubik's Cube or 96, you can have an interesting dungeon layout for an entire session of dungeon delving, all in under five minutes. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank this video's sponsor, Start Playing. If you're tired of scheduling conflicts with your friends, getting in the way of playing RPGs, and organized play at your local game store isn't your thing, or even if you just don't really know where to start and are looking for the help of an experienced professional game master, Start Playing is your solution. Start Playing has thousands of games you can discover and join by using their configurable game search based on times you're available and RPGs you're interested in playing. Instead of digging through hundreds of Reddit posts, Discord chats, or forums to find a group, you can get access to professional game masters who offer all kinds of games, be it a one-shot or a long-term campaign. You can even search for game masters who use virtual tabletops like Roll20, Foundry, or Owlbear Rodeo. Start Playing also handles all payment processing and keeps the transactions safe and secure. Join the 20,000 people already using Start Playing by clicking the link in the description and start playing today. There are a few ways I like to generate random quests, but one of my favorites is from the RPG Traveler 2nd Edition by Mongoose Publishing. While Traveler is a hard sci-fi RPG, the tables for rolling up a random quest giver and the problems they need solved are very easily adapted to fantasy settings. These D66 tables have more possible results than a D20, and rolling on the three patron mission tables together gives you some really interesting and surprising quest ideas. Alternatively, I have an entire 
entire video about this, by the way. I love rolling two random encounters from any biome-based D&D encounter table, smashing them together, and thinking through how the two encounters would come into conflict. You know you've done it right when the two encounters are stuck in a no-win scenario. Even more fun is further combining these two concepts together. Just as an experiment, we could end up with a diplomat who wants the party to hijack a desert trade caravan, but what the diplomat doesn't know is that the cursed treasure the caravan was hauling has turned the merchants and guards into ghouls. Ghouls, the nearby blue dragon who has stolen the treasure, likes to use as forward observers for his lair. Speaking of cursed treasure, the Telecanter's table for generating magic items is one of the coolest inspirational prompts I've seen for creating interesting magic items with weird and unusual use cases. It's always fun to watch players tinker with oddball magic items you've homebrewed on the fly, only for the players to find the perfect use case for it three sessions later. By rolling one of each dice type, we can generate prompts for a magic item the players can uncover while dealing with other quests, perhaps while deep in a Rubik's Cube dungeon. For example, we might roll the prompts touch, attack, attack, 20 feet, instant, conjure, and space slash dimension. With those prompts, we could come up with a Dagger of Cthulhu, which when someone stabs a victim, the dagger allows the attacker to misty step up to 20 feet away from their target, but also summons in their place as they teleport a belligerent eldritch horror. I promise you, you'll never see something so bizarre in the Dungeon Master's Guide. With all of these tables tacked up to your DM screen, you'll have everything you need to run an evening's worth of content or pivot hard in any direction the players decide to rush into, and all within just five minutes of dice rolling and thinking through the prompts. In the description below, you'll find links to all the stuff I've mentioned in this video. Check them all out. Each of them have phenomenal ideas beyond what I've mentioned here, which can radically improve your games. If you'd like to help me make more content like this in the future, please consider supporting me on Patreon or becoming a channel member. Thanks for watching. Dungeon Masters, and until next time, good night. Oh, fuck, I don't know how to do it like the last bit.